Hi, we're going to learn about organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the chemistry of the carbon atom and the molecules those carbon atoms can form. To, in order to understand what a molecule is, you've got to understand that it's made out of atoms and those atoms are bonded together. Down below, you see a glucose molecule and you notice the C's, which are carbons, are, have a line attached to like a hydrogen, which is an H, has a line attached to an oxygen, which is an O, or even has a carbon attached to another carbon, which is another C. The number of lines represents the number of bonds. For example, a carbon attached to a hydrogen in this, this molecule is a single bond. A carbon attached to another carbon with two lines is a double bond, and even they can even form triple bonds. What makes carbon unique is that it can bond with four different other atoms. In the left example, which is methane, you notice carbons attached to four different hydrogens, all with single bonds. The middle mo molecule, ethene, is, has a carbon attached to three other atoms. So either the carbon's attached to another carbon with a double bond or to two different hydrogens. The right molecule, ethine, is, has a carbon triple bonded with another carbon or attached on to another hydrogen. So notice it's only attached to two different atoms. The reason why we bring this up is that carbon can make many, many different types of shape and sizes of molecules. So for example, take the fat molecule triglyceride down below, and you notice where it says saturated, those are all single bonds. So it has kind of a straight um, shape. Take one, put in one double bond, as you can see in monounsaturated, and you notice how one of the fatty acids becomes bent. The polyunsaturated has two double bonds. You notice its shape changes. So notice the number of carbons that it attaches to and the number of bonds and the type of atoms it attaches to can really create many different kinds of molecules. Thanks for listening.